With the 2022-2023 ski season underway, Arapahoe Basin claimed top honors in being the first Colorado resort to open for the year. With recent snowfall and low temperatures, Keystone Resort became the next area to follow suit, and we went out for opening day to enjoy a beautiful day in the mountains. It is a chilly one out there this morning, squad. Welcome to another episode of season three uh, from the side of the highway again. That was the first night that I actually left Starlink out overnight and it worked totally fine. I just left the video to upload overnight and it did and dish is covered in ice, but it doesn't seem to really have affected anything, so. Today is an exciting day because it is Friday and Keystone Resort is opening up for the year. So the plan is to check out Keystone. We just have another rad day uh, in the mountains. Just pulling in here to Keystone. It's probably about eight o'clock. Parking lot doesn't look too bad. Let's see where this homie wants us to park. Good morning, man. Okay, uh, do you want berm? Oh, what does that mean? Park like in the berm? Or? I'll do the berm, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Perhaps what I'm most excited about today is a new breakfast. I am ripping the Canadian bacon this morning. I haven't had Canadian bacon, I think since like I skied Jupiter last year. So I saw it in the store, figured let's give this a shot over the uh, turkey bacon. I woke up this morning and that was the first thing I thought of was Canadian bacon. I think the advantage of Keystone compared to something like A Basin is that the run that will be open, I, apparently is about two miles long. So it might help spread people out just for safety concerns. And I do think there is a terrain park already set up. So I'm stoked to enjoy the stoke of another opening day. Because Keystone is on the Epic Pass, can't forget to get my Epic. But guys, look at that photo. That must be from like high school. I have a chin strap and a shaved head. I hope this works. It shows that I'm active online, but I guess we'll find out when we get to the gondola. Let's go guys, first gondola of the year. I'm, I'm a little bit worried because there's no line down here, which just means the line is all up at the top. But uh, the pass worked and we're on the freaking gondola. So I think we gotta go gondola up and then there's gonna be another chair that we have to take to actually ski, so super rad. <laughs> view just off the top of the gondola here as we get out. I mean this is really why we love skiing just being in the mountains. I think you can see Breckenridge over there so just a totally Windex Bluebird day. Looks like we will get a run in down to the lift before we have to wait in another lift line so um, super stoked to check out School Marm. Day four on snow so uh, we're almost coming up on five days here and just gonna take our time get back into it. So let's go to the learning area for the less experienced shredders. I'm gonna roll the side here. A little bit heads up. Take it easy. Looks like we can roll all the way out to this side even. Always look way up there. Oh wow. This is actually nice. Really nice. Look how much room we have. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my 
god. All that homie's ripping switch, that's what's up. Family ski trail. Taking it super easy. Very mellow pitch, but that's perfect. Look at these trees, look how beautiful the trees are. That's what I love about seeing. Got a little thingy over here. And that's when we just hop the one. Super aware of your surroundings. around on the side. This run's still going, guys. <laughs> Feels good. Gonna slow down over those. Mount. It's still going. There's like no end in sight. Gotta hold me up here and be a little bit careful. Going around from there. Hold me laying down. People on the sides look up. And I'm back to the side. <laughs> yeah, just cruising. Taking our time. A little bit icier down here. Holy. riding and it's super spread out so it's a lot of fun because the pitch sort of changes it's mellow then it kind of gets a little bit more steep so um, very very impressed compared to something like a basin a basin was dope but to have this much length um, is honestly pretty red it gives you a chance to actually get the sweat going down your back a little bit um, so I think we're gonna try the right side all the way down now and uh, see how that's see how that's gonna ski
line went completely non-existent. So that is pretty rad. Thanks, man. One, two. I was thinking it's honestly the perfect progression because a basin is a little bit more steeper and shorter, so you really had to get your turns in. Here, it's it's more mellow and open, so you can almost really open up the turns and carry a little bit more speed. So it's just been, in my opinion, it's felt good to sort of progress from A Basin to here this early in the year. But uh, I'm really just focusing on trying to get the mind connection with my knee angulation and my edges and really trying to hone in the control on the ski right now because that's really all we can do. Um, so I'm just trying to, to, to to practice that connection again, if that makes sense. So um, that's kind of something I'm working on, I guess. But other than that, I'm just having fun and enjoying the day, enjoying the weather. So I figured rather than downloading the entire gondola, I took one more run, came down to the bottom of the lift, and you can hike up a little bit to the mid station of the gondola. So I got another run in, gonna get a nice little walk in. Figured, yeah, be better than just sitting on the gondola the whole way down. I am honestly so impressed with the opening day at Keystone. The run was so nice, long, the snow was pretty good. Honestly, I had expected the crowds to be a lot worse and I think because it's a Friday, maybe it's a little bit better than tomorrow, which is gonna be a Saturday. So really, really stoked. Like I keep saying this whole trip, like just I never went for a ski day and said, man, I shouldn't have done that. So that was, uh, that was great, super chill day. Feel like I really got some good leg legs underneath me there just because the run was so long, but head down the gondola, back to it. I've recently started doubling my electrical wire that I use to hold my curtain up as a uh, like a drying rack. Actually it works really well for stuff like my gator, ski socks, glove liners. And check this out, I use what's called a Promist filter on the front of my lenses for just sort of like a stylistic effect, but listen to this. It's not like broken, but it's, it feels like the glass is loose within the metal ring, and I wonder if having it in my bag, skiing, <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It's kind of a bummer, because these are not cheap, but it kind of still works if I put it on. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. I don't know if I've showed you guys this situation in a little while, but this is how I've been storing my skis. The big box of Starlink, I have a propane tank up there. I have some camera gear up there, so the plan is, next weekend is to build a ski rack that mounts underneath the bed here and it's almost like almost like pvc pipes where i'll slide the skis in my plan is to have three different ones for three sets of skis so i can get the skis up out of the way mount them up here then have all this room i want to put starlink in a better box um, i would love to be able to put my suit somewhere a little bit better because right now i just shove them into here and my zipline bag i'm probably going to throw in the back box because i don't really need this um, just like on the daily. So this kind of becomes a nightmare and it's so inefficient with the way it's set up, but that hopefully will change next week.
Tonight, guys, we are making burgers. I could have done tacos, but that would have been like the fourth night. I feel like I would have had tacos, so I decided to change it up. I am making some burgers and I'm making some salad. So I'm just trying to get everything in a row here, what I got going on. Maybe we can add some spinach on the burgers. I guess that would work. We got some spinach in here. What else we have? We got to use... I got some cheese. Prevolone cheese on burgers. I guess that'll work. It probably doesn't look that great, but I assure you it's going to be tasty. For the yogurt fund, mint chocolate chip and red velvet cupcake again. I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm in the van, I need like some sort of some sort of dessert and yogurt is my go-to. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed um, the opening day of Keystone because I sure did. It was a beautiful day up in the mountains. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.